Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. So today, uh, we're going to throw some shards in here. Um, we've actually fixed this issue here. Um, it was actually sponge. We had to disable or, well you could increase the range I think could have fixed it, but I disabled and let it tick on its own basically within sponge. Um, there's an option that you have to go through. It was kind of a pain in the ass, but it did fix all this so it runs kind of normal now. Uh, it was more of a visual issue since it still calculated fine. Uh, but that was an annoying visual issue, so it should be fixed now. And uh, I went around and disabled a lot of things, so it should let mods tick a little bit better. That does more like magical kind of uh, um, ticking and stuff like that. So hopefully it's a bit better now. And uh, you can see it working pretty good, and that's how it works. Uh, today I'm just making some iron, uh, just because we're going to need some iron uh, for what we're going to do today. Uh, outside of that, I think nothing's pretty much new here. I think it's all the same. Uh, I went ahead and, uh, what did I go ahead and do? Oh, I did a lot of mining. I made the dawn stone. So basically the dawn stone was pretty simple. It was just basically smelting them in those two. I put, uh, gold in here and this one was copper. And then it gets in here, it mixes, you don't even really do anything. And from there it gets pumped and then put in there. And just the same thing as like what we're doing with the iron in there. Uh, just a little tip, I think I did these ones wrong. I think I did them on the bottom accidentally. They need to be at the top, just like this has to be at the top. Um, I think I derped up there when I did the let's play. Uh, so just, just correcting and letting you know that, you know, make sure you have that in the right spot. I think we're pretty golden though. Yeah, whatever. We'll just let it do it. I don't know if it if it's smart enough, like a like a proper battery, or if it it's like a furnace and it keeps just going and burning it out. I really don't know, but the material wasn't like too expensive, anyways. Uh, so yeah, today we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna actually make some things out of it. Uh, let's get some dawn stone. I don't think we all need a lot of it, but uh, let's get some going here, anyways. Um. Get some iron. I accidentally made some iron plates because I had the plate on instead. Um, but that's fine. Uh, and then we're going to need some sticks probably. I actually have some sticks here. So uh, they have some different tools that we can make. Uh, you can make this special pick, which I'm going to make. I want one pick, please. And then they have this laser beam gun mabopper, which I definitely want. And uh, it only costs... Uh, it's pretty cheap, to be honest. It, all these are really cheap. Um, now what we're going to do is you can either make a mantle cartridge, which kind of goes into your offhand. So you'd have to get rid of torches, for example. It'd have to go there. Or uh, you can do these other ones, which are anywhere in your inventory, but they're six times less the power capacity. But keep in mind either or they cost just as much because um you'd have to fill it up with uh, actual power and that's going to cost no matter what you do so keep that in mind anyway so we got some glass here um we're going to probably make a couple of these actually uh the more the merrier right if we're carrying them with us so one two let's do three Okay, so we got three of those, and then we're going to make a charger. Now, I forget the name of it, but I'll know. Ooh, there's a beam cannon. Huh. I'm going to look that up. Uh, Ember's beam cannon. I've never... A uh, special beam cannon. No. Huh. That's interesting. Cannon two ends or one end? I think it's two. Huh. Anyways, uh, we need a charger, so, uh, exchange table, huh? Uh, so I just have to figure out where that is. Not the activator. Ah, charger. There it is. And oop, I'm not clicking this properly. There we go. Oh, we need iron and copper plate. Ooh. 
Iron and copper plate. Now, I'm not sure how I can go and melt. I guess copper probably melts as is, right? Um, never done this before, but uh, let's just do iron and... I said iron too, right? So iron we already technically have. Was that it? Iron and copper? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll do the copper here. This should be... Oh, no, it's still doing it. Damn it. You finish up. We got something to show off here, guys. This is kind of a slow process at times. Um, you could click it out, I think. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so, yeah, let's get rid of it. Electro is like one of those people that he'll read the chat and he'll just like, yeah, I don't feel like answering him. <laughs> don't ask. These days, I don't even know what to say. Um, there we go. Wait, did it actually stack more than... Oh, no, because I had a stack in me, I think. Um, oh, crap. Remove that. Oof, almost screwed up on that. And there's the plate. It should work. There you go. And uh, here's the charger. Excellent. Um, it's up to you. You might want to make another little power acceptor mabopper. I don't think we had any more. Oh, actually, we did have another one here. I'm going to say no then. Which ones are these in use these days? I don't even know anymore, so let's get this running again. Okay, let's do it here then. And uh, we're going to do our little hammer thing. If we can get it, there it is. Uh, oh, put this on top. Well, it probably will work on top. We'll see. You're probably going to want to put your little gauge on there as well. Ooh. Did I use all those gauges up? I feel like I wouldn't have, but I mean, anything's possible, right? So... There you go. Oh yeah, there it is. Um... Let's turn all this off then for now. And, oh, I didn't mean to do that many, but we'll let it do a bunch. This has a really big capacity though, if you check here. So, 24K. There you go. And then, uh, I guess you could put these in here. And, oh yeah, you can see it charging up there. Cool. Oh, you're going to have to have a clear hand, I guess, for that. So you pick it up. Throw that one in. There you go. Pick that up. Throw that one in. So it's basically charging a, a battery at this point. Caught up, I guess. Yeah, it caught up. So it's a little slower now. That is quite sweet, though, to be honest. And we got our copper plates here. Excellent. So I say we're doing pretty good here then. Um, yeah, we'll put all those in there. And yeah, you should probably technically go in there. Um, you can go there. And then for all this ember stuff, we could probably just put it on the wall here. I'm using P. Uh, Draconic Evolution has this kind of like this frame, item frame type sort of style idea. Where you can hit P on the wall and just place the items directly on the wall. Which is pretty cool to be honest, so that's what we're doing. And there's those guys. Is this on pickup yet? And then, uh, so we'll get rid of this temporarily. And I guess we can get rid of that. I don't know. We, we wouldn't have this many picks normally, but right now we're kind of in the lobby tech age still. We're, we're still getting our foot, you know, out the door in a sense. Um, so yeah, this should work. You could probably see at least the first one. It's annoying, like, you don't have an interface to see it all, but understand you're supposed to get maybe the handheld one or something to help out with that or whatever. So, um, here's a good example of how this works.
little bastard. There you go. Ow. It sets him on fire, so he's, it's natural that he would set me on fire when he shoots me. There you go. I think he was a bad example because he was kicking my ass, but uh, oh, here's a good example. There you go. That is pretty powerful stuff right there. That's a skeleton, but look at the range on this thing. Isn't that ridiculous? That guy had a lot of armor or HP or something going on there. But there we go. Oh, those things will kick your butt to Kingdom Come Fallen Knight. That's um, Ender IO, I believe. And they have a lot of health, the horses. But with us on the helm, there we go. We shouldn't be doing too, too bad. There was another one here, I thought? Or maybe... Oh, the guy was the one that fell, I guess. He was the other one. Boom. 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 Oh, we can't, we're slightly out of range, so you get the range idea there. Quite powerful range, actually. Uh, look at this. we got glowstone armor here. Pretty weak stuff. You got some steel armor, but once you start fighting mobs, you can actually replace your armor over time, you know, combine them, etc., and uh, do some decent uh, 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 protection anyways. But, uh, yeah, how powerful is that? That is awesome. Really love that. Hopefully you guys like it. So that is that weapon. Um, they have one that's for cutting trees, things like that. I don't find those ones that good. So we won't bother with that. But, um, oh wow. So you can see how much power we use. We use one and maybe a quarter. It does use quite a bit of uh, energy, but uh, there you go. Look how fast that thing should charge. I guess it has a, a semi-throttle to it. Oops. There you go. And then uh, what we'll do here is uh, we'll put the armor away. So I have a chest that I put armors in. There it is. This is just like the junk I loot mob-wise anyways. And uh, now I'm going to show you this puppy, but we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a bucket of water because um, it's going to play a big effect to this. So one of these has water in it. Uh, here it is. So I wonder if I could do it on the surface. Surface ones are more fun to do this, but there's nothing around here. So there will be no surface ones. Down to the caves we go then. I'm really excited to show you this one because I think you guys will like this one a lot. So we're going to need obsidian. Um, I'm thinking the next episode we're going to go and do the nether. And then after the nether, uh, we're going to have to do... Um, eventually we have to do tinkers. And uh, overall, there's just going to be a lot of uh, materials we're going to have to farm and get, etc., etc. Just the same old, nothing big there. Um, but... Uh, the Tinker stuff takes insane amount of obsidian, if you didn't know that. And if you didn't, well, now you kind of know. And I mean insane amounts here. Um, so let's just do that, I guess. So, you ready for this? Uh, Right-click the ground. Boom. Oh, shoot. It hit my water source. Cool and bad. Um, so, yeah. It, uh basically kicks ass except if you hit your water source you kind of screw yourself over um, because it kind of has like a block hacking kind of blah 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 and taking out the water source was probably a bad idea because um, if I do it now it might fall into lava right because there might be one or two layers um, doesn't actually look like there's that many on this one but still not worth losing the water source over so we just need to find some water if we can we might have to do, uh, whoop. <laughs> talk about failing. Okay, slash home. If you guys didn't know, uh, there's set home and slash home part of this mod pack. 
Uh, we have it differently on our server. Different. It's a different plugin for it, but we decided to add it. That way people can visit others and go home and they don't have to feel so, you know, oh, I don't want to do that because you're so far away and I have to come back. And a lot of people hate that return trip. I personally am not a big fan of using it. I usually, like, when I go visit Electra, I usually take a boat all the way back home. Um, but that's, I'm just a different player like that. I kind of have that. But that's that's by choice, right? So, um, either way. Oh, I didn't fix the roof here, so it's kind of crummy. As a normal pick, it's a bit faster, but not terrible. But keep in mind, it still uses dur uh, the power durability using the left click. I pretty much exclusively say only use it for uh, basically uh, things you're going to break, whatever. Like I'd use it for this, of course, but I probably wouldn't use it for anything else outside of the right click. Um, I don't, I don't think it's worth it, but that's of course up to you and whoever else, you know. There you go. So we got 16 obsidian. You'll need like, I don't know, a stack or two, two, probably two stacks for what you're going to need over time. There you go. You could probably do this, I guess. That's not a bad idea. And it has range. You ready for this? Yeah. It's got a pretty powerful range to it, actually. It has a cooldown. You can see the durability bar at the bottom on the hop bar. Uh, that's basically your durability, uh, or your cooldown, sorry. So you got to kind of wait for that. I don't think there's any lava left anyway, so... There you go. Saves you a diamond pick. They'll so probably make a diamond pick anyways, just because who doesn't like a badass diamond pick, right? But you get the idea of how powerful this is. And this would you could do it by hand, of course, but this is the speed of it. It's quite insanely slow. And it does more than just uh, uh, a 3 by one I think it's like a 3 by 2 or something. So, or... Uh, sorry, it's a 3x3x2 three by three by instead of a 3x3x1, three by three by I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but it seems to work roughly that way. So, that's kind of useful for knowing. There you go. Oh, I got it anyways. That torch might take it out. That's the downside. You gotta be careful. Did anything leak over here? No. But there you go. Good way of getting Laeva, anyways, without the painful. I put it, should have probably put that in the middle. And you can see we've only we haven't even used half of one with the right click, which is pretty powerful. I mean, you get the idea. Um, damn. Damn good item. Uh, I even actually suggested that it should get nerfed with the gun a little further. And they're like, well, you should be rewarded to try new mods. And I'm like, I am for that. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like even, you know, 20, 30 plus hours into the game, you'd still probably give those a try and want to do them because of their uniqueness anyways. I mean, the instant break and stuff is quite a unique thing. And I wonder if this... If you had like five of these, if they would all have separate cooldown. Because just imagine, you know, so here, let's do it here. Boom. There you go. So it goes three by three by two. So that's that's pretty powerful. And it, it's range, like I said. So so imagine just having a hot bar of these, right? Like I said, I don't know if that would work, but if it did. <laughs> I don't know what the range is on it. I, it doesn't last forever, of course, but it seems to work pretty damn good. Still going? Oh, cool. We hit a tunnel from before. Oh, my goodness. It's still going. Oh, there we go. We hit the range. Wow. Oh, nice. I need some more gold anyways. 
There we go. We hit something up there. Ow! Yeah, this this torch right click stuff not so good with it. Gets kind of broken and annoying. Now we can't see worth crap though. Oh crap! We probably want to go this way. It doesn't have a dynamic light to the like the laser beam, for example. So keep that in mind. Ah! There you go. But there you have it. Oh, we found a spawner, but I think I actually found this one. Yeah, this is a unique spawner. There you go. It's a shadow creature. And it drops shadow shards, which you can use to... Uh, oh, we don't have it. But it looks like you use it for more things for abyssal craft. So I, I marked it. Uh, it's, it's disabled, so it doesn't show right now. But uh, it's probably something we'll need or want down the road. So Interesting. But, uh, yeah, I think we'll end it there either way. That's pretty sweet. Uh, so next episode, we're going to the nether. We are definitely going to the nether, so that'll be fun. And then uh, we'll see what we can get there, and then we'll go from there. So thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time.